everybody, good morning. Um, it's a new day uh, and I'm off to work. It's Tuesday today, so um, Monday's normally my admin day where I uh, kind of stay at home and sort my week out. Um, we'll go into a bit more detail of what I do in a couple of future videos, but I'm uh, currently working as a kind of inspector, so technical inspections and conformance. I do assessments on people that use our product. That's a bit of a giveaway. Um, so I'm just driving to Kent, which is three hours from where I live in Bristol. And I'm gonna see some guys who need to be assessed um, just so we get clarification that they kind of understand how to install our product. So yeah, it's uh, currently grey and horrible white and, um, and it's raining and I think this week's supposed to get colder. I'm um, really tired this morning because for me to get ready, I had to get up at bloody quarter to six and my routine is I get up at quarter to six. Have a, um, have a coffee and then start getting ready at six and then I'm out the door by seven. It takes me about an hour to get ready, it's make up and have a shower and sort myself out. It's not too bad. It's just I don't really like early starts. Wait for us. So just driving down the motorway and look what I've seen. Hilarious. The universe is that definitely describes me, right? Trans AF. When I came out as trans, uh, I was also going through a split with my partner of 16 years. Um, we weren't married. We were just in a civil partnership. No kids, just two dogs. And um, we split up because we just grew apart after 16 years. We both kind of lost ourselves. So we decided to split up. Um, so I went off a year ago and moved into my own place and my ex has been living on her own in our house. Um, she actually bought me out of the house. But we've come to a head now because living on my own in Bristol is really expensive to the point where I can't barely afford it on the wage that I'm on. And my ex is really struggling to cover all the bills in her place. As you can imagine, mortgage on her own and all that kind of stuff is pretty tough. Um, so we're still really good friends. I mean, we, we see each other at least once a week and we've got two dogs that I walk. Um, you know, I, I, we have shared responsibility of the dogs. It's not fair to let her have all that responsibility. So I try to get over there twice a week to walk the dogs. But we started talking about uh, me going into a house share and I have been thinking about a house share. But being trans, you kind of need your own space, private space, and God, this road's really bad. I'm on the M25 and it's terrible. It's like concrete slab, they just make a load of noise. Um, so yeah, I'm, I want to go into high share. Well, I don't want to because I'm giving up my independence, but for money reasons, I need to start saving. I want to really buy my own place. Luckily, I haven't got really any debt, and um, I just need to start saving a bit of money and like have have a life because I'm just not affording to do stuff. There's things I want to do this year that I just can't afford. Um, so we've been chatting again about me maybe renting a room off of her, moving back in as a house share. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I don't know that it's a bad idea. Um, I don't have feelings for her in that way. I don't, 
that's why we love and she doesn't have feelings for me and um, we are just friends we love each other as friends and that's it i think if we're actually honest for the last three years of our relationship that's all it was was uh, a close friendship and she'll always be in my life regardless but obviously moving back in is um it's almost like defeat for me because I try to live on my own and I, I love living on my own. I love my independence and doing what I want to do, but sometimes I just get so lonely and I'm an extrovert and I need people around. So, um, you know, I, I live off people's energy and when you're sat at home and you're feeling a bit low, there's no one there to kind of pick you up or, you, you know. So, you know, we're kind of having that conversation right now. Um, it's not a long-term fix, it's a short-term plan. Probably, you know, anywhere between six and 12 months. But, it's kind of why I, whilst I'm trying to sort my life out in terms of um, buying somewhere, trying to get a higher wage, whether that's asking my company for a pay rise or finding a new job. Um, I just know that currently what I'm doing, I'm going to end up going into debt because I'm, you know, I've started to have to use food banks and there's no shame in using food banks because at the end of the day, it's food that's going to go a waste regardless of whether I have it or someone else. If, if we don't have it, then it's going to get thrown. So, you know, I've started to use a food bank um, just to try and get through to the end of the month. So, there's all these things to think about in this month of March coming up. Um, and it's a big decision because once the decision is made, decision is made, I can't really go back on it. I mean, a place that I got right now is, is amazing and it's in a really nice area of Bristol. The rent isn't that expensive for where it is. You know, I'm, I'm paying 825 pound a month on rent which isn't bad for a two bed flat in Bristol, well, in where I am. But the issue is I only get paid 1,700 pound a month. And my total outlay is 1,300 pound a month in terms of bills and rent. So I don't give you a lot. You know, it gives you 400 quid for the month. And that's, uh, that. In, I have to take my shopping out of that, so that's 150 quid for the month. And then that just gives you enough money just to kind of survive and get at the odds and ends. So yeah, I mean, there's all these things to think about. We'll have to, um, we'll, me and my ex will really get our heads together and see, you know, we've got to set some ground rules because if there's no ground rules, then, you know, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Um, and like, there's also the dating aspect of it, right? Because if you um, if you go on a couple of dates and then the question comes up of like where do you live, I'm gonna, you know, do I do I say I still live with my ex, or is it I sh I'm on I'm in a house share with my friend? I think it's the latter, isn't it really? So um, you know, and I guess if that person is right for you, then they would understand. So uh, yeah loads of things to think about for the month of March um, oh, I'll keep you pasted it's an interesting one let me know what you think in the comments below so we've just arrived in Chip and Sobbury and I'm off to go get my nails done I'm just crossing the road um, by the so, just about to get my nails done by um, Victoria in Opulent Beauty Retreat which is just down this alleyway. And a um, little bit of a story about Vic is she's just been amazing through the last year. I've known her for about a year now. And um, she's been my absolute rock. So we're just going down here. It's just down here. So, um, yeah, she's like my go-to for Botox, you know, lip filler and nails. So um, this is where we're at.
So I've just got back in after a hectic kind of day, driven over 400 miles to go to Kent for work and back um, to do a site visit. Um, on my way back, I had to pop into my friend's beauty retreat, which I showed you just before this video. And she did my nails and done an amazing job. Love my nails. I love going to Vegas. She's so cool. Um, and she's a friend and a confidant. So um, we always have a good chin wag whilst I'm there to, and have a catch up. We probably catch up probably once a month at the moment because she's so busy. So now I'm off to, I gotta go to Blackburn tomorrow for another site visit, um, which means I gotta book a hotel because I'm gonna stay over out there. And because um, I, I just ain't gonna drive back, it's too far. I tried it before and it kills me. So I'm gonna stay up there, do two site visits and um, that's tomorrow. So what I'll do is I'll check in with you uh, tomorrow. Bye for now.